Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today let's see how React components are getting rendered on a web page. I have got a React application up and running here. I am planning to show a simple example of a counter that increments and decrements the count on your web page. Let's get started. First thing is first. Here we are creating a component called counter. I am basically copying everything from app.js and pasting it into counter.js. And we don't need this import anymore, so let's remove it. Now, we have to make sure our component can be exported by adding the export keyword. Also, let's give our component name as counter. Oh, and we can just remove this export statement down there since we have already got the export keyword on top. Now, inside the component, we are declaring a variable called count and setting it to 0. Then we are creating two functions for incrementing and decrementing. A quick tip. Count plus plus is just a shorthand way to add 1 to our count variable. In a similar way, count minus minus is for subtracting 1 from our count variable. And here comes the JSX magic inside the render function. We are using the h2 tag to display a heading and check out how we insert a variable in JSX using those curly braces. Next up, we are creating buttons for both incrementing and decrementing. In the onClick attribute, we are passing our function and a little description for the button. To make it easier, I copied that button element, by the way, to make one for decrementing two. Now our component is all set. But we need to add it to our app.js. Let's remove some unnecessary things and include the counter component right here. Notice how once we added our component, VS Code automatically added that input statement. Now it's the time to run the development server and check out the result. There it is on our web page. But clicking those buttons doesn't do anything yet. Let's get back to the code. I'm just adding a little space between the button with the line break tab. And you know what? Let's add a console.log to see what's happening when we click those buttons. Alright, let's go back to the browser to give it another shot. Still nothing happened. Let's quickly inspect the element and move on to the console tab now let me click the button and yes, it's working. The JavaScript variable is doing its thing. Since this is a React application, React doesn't automatically re-render the component when stuff changes. To get React to work well, we need to manage the state using hooks. Let's jump back into the code and add some hook action. Check this out. We are setting up a counter that starts at zero and giving it a way to increase or decrease the count. And guess what? When I added use state, VS Code automatically imported the use state for us on the top. Set count is our function for updating the count variable and we are adding it to the decrement function too. Back to the browser once again and yep, it's actually working now. The count is going up and down. So remember, if you want React to render or re-render your component, you have to get it hooked up with some state management. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Thanks a bunch for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.